Luxury, comfort, convenience. Everything you need under one roof. Four Points by Sheridan Tallahassee Downtown. The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. In 1989, 15,000 people, equally split between pro and anti-choice factions, came to the state capitol for a special session on abortion. The law didn't change, but each year state lawmakers try to restrict abortions. There's now a Choose Life license plate that funds pregnancy help centers. Ultrasounds are now required before an abortion, and minors must have a parent's blessing in most cases. Each week, a small group of protesters pray silently in front of the state Supreme Court. And each year on the anniversary of Roe, Catholic high school students protest at the state capitol. We're just here to um, let women know that um, they are loved and to let um, them know that uh, there is support for them if they are in uh, crisis pregnancy. On the other side, a small gathering of pro-choice women worried publicly that women's rights are under attack. Access to birth control is under attack. And a Democratic dark horse candidate for governor argued that she's the only sure bet to protect women's rights. We will not allow government to intrude into our bedrooms and our doctor's offices. In 2012, Florida voters turned down a constitutional amendment that could have opened the door to more restrictions on abortions, leaving Florida status quo. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Massalinda reporting.